Hi techie guys, I am Nand Kishore Swami and in this particular tutorial we would be learning about automating a windows based application. So application which is installed on a particular system. So let's get started. Uh, go ahead and click on new task editor and open your task editor window. And uh, for this particular uh, robot our objective is to retrieve certain information from a web based application, store that into a CSV file then read that csv file and fill out that information on a windows based application so let's uh, go step by step so first step is to open the web based application so go to the web recorder and choose the option open browser and enter the url click on save then second thing is to extract the table information so drag and drop the extract table option from web recorder specify the url click on launch so once the website is launched click on capture table and just mouse over on the table that you want to capture and click on that once you click it will capture the table control and now we need to store the output into a CSV file so let's store it into output data file and click on open so now the output from that web based application would be stored into the CSV file now our next step is to activate or log into the web based or windows based application so first step is to launch the web based application to launch we need to use program open program so just drag and drop the open program and now we need to browse or point out which exe we want to launch and for that we have we are we're going to use the crm.exe so let's copy and paste the path this will make sure to launch the exe so once exe is open we will log into it so just double click and open the exe and to log in we need to use the object control for the object control just go to just to create the object control go to manage window controls and drag and drop so our window name is login so from the drop down box look for login which is here and click on capture control and just drag and drop your mouse on what control you want to capture so for now we need to first enter the username so just highlight the username and just leave the mouse once you leave the control would be automatically captured and what uh, value we want to specify so the action we want to perform is set text and the value that we want to specify is admin which is username just click on save <coughs> similarly just copy and paste the same thing we need to perform the second task which is set the password so click on the capture control and just highlight the control which we need to enter so just leave it and what value we need to enter just enter the password or whatever the login credential you, want, you have click on save similarly the next thing that we need to perform is click on login button so again click on the capture control and mouse over on the control that we want to capture which is login button just leave it and what action do we need to perform which is click click on save so once we click on login button we are logged in into the our CRM application so let's enter the credential for now admin and 
password click on login so once we are in we will capture the information from csv file and enter into the crm application so next one we need to read the data from csv so look at your read from csv option just drag and drop point out what csv you want to read which is located uh, here so this is the path csv path specify the csv path first uh, column has the headers so just have the tick box on the contain headers now in between this loop we need to fill out the information in on on the csv or uh, on the crm application so now our next step is to click on this new call button so we can fill out the certain information again we need to use the manage control option manage windows control to click on the new call option so now the window name is crm dash open span so just locate your crm dash open span click on capture control and the control that we need to click is new call so just highlight your control and leave the mouse and what action do we need to perform which is click so it is click or we can also choose left click so once we click on the new call a new window should pop up which is like new call one and now we will fill out certain information and if you look at the title of this uh, application it is changed from CRM open span to new call but the initial two words remain the same so to have our robot to identify the correct window we need to have a star mark at the end so star is a default or wild character in, op uh, in automation anywhere uh, for any number of uh, uh, text or characters so this is a wild character so whatever window that has the name uh, initial name is crm dash open span and the rest thing can be anything but it would be considered as a match so next one is the value that we're going to enter is name so in the name just create the control and the action that we don't need to perform is set text and the text is coming from a csv file so just press the f2 and select file data and the data is in column one say okay and save similarly we will now uh, think we have changed the same control so we need to create the uh, button click control again so it's capture just close new call click on capture create new call and we need to just perform the click on this uh, button it's a click on the item then we're gonna set the value of a text and then again we will set the value of a text uh, uh, of a text control so go ahead and click on capture now but we don't have the new call button there so let's first open the new call now the second option that we're gonna enter is street address and let's say street address is coming from uh, file data 
column 2. And now let's select some drop down options. Let's select the call type. And it's not properly capturing. So let's close it. Refresh. Choose your window name. Okay, now now it captures the proper control. So the second one is choose an option from the drop down which is question. Click on save. And just the last one to again select an option from the drop down which is call priority again it's not capturing so just refresh select it from the top down okay let's create any control then Alrighty, just say okay. Please specify the text values. Okay, let's delete it. I think the second control is not properly created. So let's uh, drag and drop your manage Windows control option. So once you fill out the first name, then let's capture the value for street address. And the value would be coming from file data and the column 2. Click on save and just go ahead and run your automation. So let's see how it goes. Just close all the CRM and web applications and click on run. So it should first go to the Internet Explorer. Yeah, extract all the table data read it and now it's gonna launch it launch our CRM application it's already locked in and see it's filling out all the information so it's filling out the correct information so that's it for this particular tutorial and see you in next tutorial